Hello there. Welcome to Innovatronics TV. Today, join us on this global journey as we delve into the fascinating intricacies of cross-cultural norms, uncovering the do's and don'ts that can help you navigate the diverse landscapes of our world with respect and cultural sensitivity. Get ready to expand your horizons and broaden your cultural awareness as we embark on this enlightening exploration together. Before we begin, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you will be updated whenever we upload new videos, contents, and other updates from our channel, Innovatronics TV. Without further ado, let's start. 10 Essential Cross-Cultural Etiquettes You Must Know At Number 1. Egypt and Portugal. Never request salt and pepper. In both Egyptian and Portuguese food cultures, there is a different perspective on the use of salt and pepper at the dining table. It is seen as poor food etiquette to reach for salt and pepper and add additional seasoning to a dish that has been prepared by the chef. This cultural practice is rooted in the belief that the chef has already seasoned the food to perfection, and adding extra seasoning can be seen as an implication that the dish is not adequately seasoned. By refraining from reaching for salt and pepper, it allows you to fully appreciate and savor the flavors as they were intended by the chef. It encourages you to focus on the nuances and intricacies of the dish, appreciating the skill and expertise that went into its preparation. This practice promotes a cultural respect for the chef's expertise and honors the traditional flavors and seasonings of the cuisine. It's an opportunity to immerse yourself in the culinary traditions of Egypt or Portugal and experience the dish as it was intended to be enjoyed. So, next time you sit down for a meal in Egypt or Portugal, embrace the cultural etiquette and resist the temptation to add extra seasoning. Allow yourself to fully immerse in the beauty and flavors of the dish, appreciating the culinary expertise and cultural heritage that it represents. At Number 2. England. Never use the inward peace sign. When it comes to hand gestures, cultural differences can play a significant role in their interpretation. In the UK, the V sign, which involves extending the index and middle fingers in a V shape with the palm facing outward, is commonly used to convey peace or victory. However, it is important to be aware that the meaning can change when the palm is facing inward. In the UK, if the V sign is made with the palm facing inward, it can be interpreted as an offensive gesture with sexual connotations. This gesture is generally considered vulgar and should be avoided to prevent any misunderstanding or offense. To spread love and goodwill in the UK, it's advisable to use the V sign with the palm facing outward, as this conveys the intended message of peace and victory. By being aware of the cultural nuances and practicing respectful gestures, you can ensure better communication and avoid unintended misunderstandings. Remember, cultural sensitivity plays a vital role in fostering positive interactions, and taking the time to understand and respect cultural differences can go a long way in promoting harmony and mutual understanding. Number 3. Ghana. Be mindful when taking pictures. In some cultures, including certain tribes in Ghana, there are beliefs and traditions associated with the use of cameras and photography. It is important to approach such situations with respect and cultural sensitivity. For some communities, the act of taking photographs is perceived as invasive or disrespectful. They may hold beliefs that cameras have the power to capture or steal a person's soul. It is crucial to honor and understand these cultural perspectives and refrain from taking photographs if it is against their wishes. Respecting the customs and beliefs of the communities you visit is essential in fostering positive interactions and promoting cultural understanding. If you are unsure about the cultural norms regarding photography, it is advisable to seek guidance from local individuals or authorities who can provide insight and advice on the matter. At Number 4. Saudi Arabia. The Sharia Law. In Saudi Arabia, there are regulations and societal norms that segregate and regulate interactions between men and women in certain settings. These regulations aim to uphold traditional values and promote modesty, according to the interpretation of Islamic principles within the country. It is crucial to respect and adhere to local customs and laws when visiting or residing in Saudi Arabia. This includes being aware of social norms regarding interactions between genders and acting in accordance with them. Violations of these regulations may lead to legal consequences, 
which can vary depending on the severity and circumstances of the offense. However, it is important to approach such information with caution and consider the sources and context. It is advisable to seek updated and accurate information from official sources, as laws and practices can evolve and change over time. At number 5. Brazil. The OK Hand Gesture. Hand gestures can indeed have different meanings and interpretations in different cultures and contexts. The OK hand gesture, typically made by forming a circle with the thumb and index finger, is widely recognized as a signal for OK or fine in many parts of the world, including underwater communication among scuba divers. However, it's important to be aware that hand gestures can have varying interpretations in different cultures and regions. In Brazil, some individuals may associate the OK hand gesture with a negative connotation, such as representing someone as a zero or with a more vulgar interpretation. Cultural awareness and sensitivity are crucial when it comes to understanding and using hand gestures. When interacting with people from different cultural backgrounds, it's important to adapt and be mindful of the specific gestures and body language norms within that culture. What may be acceptable and understood in one context may be perceived differently in another. At number 6. Chili. Avoid using your bare hands when eating. In Chile, there is a cultural preference for using utensils, such as a knife and fork, while eating, even for foods that are traditionally eaten with hands in other cultures. This includes food like sandwiches, french fries, or pizza. It is considered good etiquette to use utensils when dining in Chilean settings. When using utensils, it's important to hold them properly and avoid touching the table with your hands. Resting the utensils on the plate when not in use is customary. These practices help maintain cleanliness and hygiene during the meal. Respecting local dining customs and etiquette is a way to show cultural sensitivity and appreciation. Adapting to the cultural norms of a particular country or region can enhance your dining experience and foster positive interactions with the local community. By using utensils and being mindful of table manners in Chile, you can ensure that you are respecting the local traditions and enjoying your meal in a culturally appropriate way. At number 7. Britain. British Tea Etiquette. When it comes to British tea etiquette, there are certain customs and rules to keep in mind for a refined tea experience. One such rule is to avoid clinking your spoon on the sides of the teacup. The clinking sound can be considered improper or disruptive in a formal tea setting, so it's best to stir your tea gently and quietly. Additionally, it is considered impolite to chew or talk with your mouth open while enjoying tea or any meal. This is a general dining etiquette rule that applies not only to British tea culture but to many other cultures as well. Keeping your mouth closed while chewing and speaking ensures good manners and shows respect for others at the table. By adhering to these tea etiquette rules, you can demonstrate your understanding and appreciation for the customs of British tea culture. Embracing these practices enhances the overall tea experience and allows you to fully immerse yourself in the rich traditions of British tea etiquette. At number 8. Ukraine. Even numbers of flowers during funerals. In Ukrainian culture, funerals and the associated customs hold significant importance as they are a way to honor and respect the deceased and provide comfort to the grieving family. The tradition of using even numbers of flowers during funerals is deeply rooted in Ukrainian beliefs and superstitions. To avoid unintentional misunderstandings or insults, it's essential to understand the symbolic meaning behind this custom. Even numbers symbolize death. In Ukrainian culture, even numbers are associated with death and are traditionally used for funerals. Conversely, odd numbers, particularly the number 3, are used during joyful events such as weddings, birthdays, and anniversaries. Using odd numbers of flowers in a funeral setting may be seen as inappropriate or disrespectful, as it contradicts this established belief. At number 9. Italy. Do not request chicken with pasta. While chicken and pasta are both delicious on their own, they are not traditionally combined in Italian cooking due to their similar textures. The focus in Italian pasta dishes is often on complementary flavors and textures that enhance each other. Instead of requesting chicken with pasta, 
it's encouraged to explore the wide range of pasta dishes that feature other delightful options, such as savory meat or delectable seafood. From classic dishes like spaghetti bolognese with rich meat sauce to seafood linguine with fresh clams and mussels, there's an abundance of delectable choices to savor. By embracing the authentic flavors and pairings of Italian cuisine, you can fully enjoy the culinary experience that Italy has to offer. Exploring the diverse variety of pasta dishes with their unique ingredients will allow you to appreciate the true essence of Italian dining and its cherished culinary traditions. Last but not the least. At number 10. North Korea. Full capture of statues. When taking photos near statues of political figures, it is generally required to capture the entire statue in the frame. This rule is likely enforced to prevent any cropping or manipulation of the images that might be considered disrespectful. Photography restrictions in North Korea are tightly controlled. Tourists usually have designated guides who monitor and regulate their activities, including photography. Certain areas and locations may be off-limits for photography, and taking pictures without permission can lead to problems. Some locations, such as military installations, are strictly prohibited for photography, and attempting to take pictures in restricted areas can result in severe consequences. Tourists may have their cameras and electronic devices checked at checkpoints, and authorities may review the images captured to ensure compliance with regulations. There you go. Thank you for joining us on this journey of cultural insights. We hope you've gained a deeper understanding of the world's diverse customs and traditions. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more enlightening content. Remember, respect and appreciation for each other's cultures lead to a more harmonious and interconnected world. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.